Here we have the green weenie. It will be tied on a number 10 nymph hook by using a 3-0 chartreuse thread and a chartreuse ultra chenille. The fly consists of a looped tail and touching wraps wrapped from the tail to the eye of the hook. Grab your hook. This is a barbless hook. If you have a barb on your hook, please pinch in the barb with your vise. Starting just behind the eye of the hook, get your thread started. Wrap it all the way back to the bend of the hook. Remove your tag end. The ultra chenille here we have is green. Comes in many colors. Today you will be starting with the end of the material placed halfway onto the hook. Capture your material onto your hook using light wraps. Making sure the material is on top of the hook. Secure down. Leave your thread at the end of your hook where you stopped your thread base and create a small loop with your material. Here, when you make your loop, place your material on top of the hook. Get the correct size loop that you want. You can go a little smaller, a little larger. Pinch wrap the loop. Capture your material with one wrap, making sure all the material is on top of the hook. Two wraps tighter. Three wraps should secure everything in. Pull your material back. Wind your thread nice and tight behind it and continue your thread all the way to the eye of the hook. Leave your thread there. Now we are going to make touching wraps around the hook. And what I mean by touching, each wrap touches the one previously made. This continues its way all the way to the eye of the hook. Be careful not to get too close to the eye. You do not want to crowd the eye of the hook. Hold your material vertical. Grab your thread and capture your material with two or three nice wraps. Pull your material back. Two or three more wraps to secure it. Snipping your material away on top of the hook. Do not snip below because you have damage, you can have damage to your thread or cut it completely off. Now we're going to grab our half hitch tool. Make several half hitch wraps. Snip off the thread, and there you have it, the green weenie.